guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm here with favourite polishes of 2018. Yes, 2018 is over, we're in 2019. I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year. We are here today to talk about some polishes. I always find it very hard to pick favourites in general, let alone year favourites, monthly favourites, colour favourites. I find it very hard. So I've gone through and kind of picked out like 12 highlights for the year um but i probably could have talked through a lot lot more um, as always this video is a collab with some of my friends here on youtube <coughs> and they're all going to be putting them up either today or this weekend um so it's with myself amanda jess and holly their channels will be linked down below and like i say mine's going up today but i think everybody else is kind of going to be scattered across the weekend so enjoy at your leisure uh, and let's get going. We'll do mainstream first. The a highlight in general I thought this year was bringing back of the China Glaze Holographics. And my personal favourite from that collection is DV8, which is this beautiful teal holographic. I think the idea of bringing the collection back, doing like a, yeah, a throwback collection, I thought was a really cool, fun idea that I hadn't seen many or any other brands do. So I really enjoyed that concept. I thought the hollows were really nice. I really enjoyed all the formulas of them. So overall, they were a big thumbs up and hit from me, um, color-wise and from the brand China Glaze as well. So the first one for my favorites is gonna be DV8 by China Glaze. I then have two from Zoya. Now the first one actually didn't come out last year, but this one is Zoya's Song. Now, so many people have said to me for long Long, long long time that I need to get song because it's such a great blue and there was no reason why I didn't but I finally found one at a bargain price in last year and I decided to pick it up and it is just as stunning as people say the hype is real um, and song is a one coater it's this royal blue with a ton of shimmer and shift to it it's just so stunning such a great formula and the hype is real song by Zoya and I thought what Zoya did really great in all their collections that they released throughout 2018 was really really great cream formulas and my favorite cream from them for the year is going to be mini and this is just a beautiful like mini mouse color it's a perfect balance in between pink and like a peachy kind of color corally kind of color it fits all in that kind of category and I just felt it was so beautiful and so dainty and the formula on this is amazing Zoya when I think of them I think of great cream formulas um, and I don't think there's been any or many at all um, that I've ever had that have been bad formulas when it comes to creams so a cream highlight for the year is definitely going to be mini by Zoya my two OPI picks from the year also didn't come out last year the first one's called skip the gift wrap and I believe this is quite a rare polish it was like a ultra exclusive for some sort of Christmas collection um, I picked it up in a D stash I think and then when I started wearing it people started saying where's this from how can I find it um, so I think it's quite a hard polish to find so sorry I'm teasing you with that but it's just this beautiful green colour and it's just so shifty and it's more like a dark green a little splash of teal in there and I just thought it was something unique different unusual um, and I am a big fan of like emerald green colours so overall that one was another standout for me so that was Skip the Gift Wrap by OPI and the other one is called Visions of Georgia Green and this came out as an exclusive extra polish of when they did the coca-cola collection and this is meant to be the colour of what the original coke bottles were like a kind of like a greeny colour so it is quite a sheer polish it does take three coats but it's like this shifty green and then there's like a limey flash to it and a gold flash and then there's might even be some flakies in here it's just really different from OPI in general but I guess the idea is that they were making it different so it would match the the old original coke bottles so it definitely matches what they wanted to make and in the meantime they've also created a really unique and nice polish um, so that was definitely another highlight and some, you can say it's two really different colored greens from OPI there so that second one was visions of Georgia green and on to the indies now three of the indies I'm going to show are from polish pickup this is unintentional from me until I sat down and realized when I was grouping them up to talk about them I only tried polish pickup this year um, and it's, I think it's been running for about 18 months now and it's definitely taken like, the indie world by storm it's very popular if you don't know what uh, polish pickup is each month there is a theme brands contribute a like exclusive themed polish for that month 
and it's kind of like done on a pre-order basis um, so I'd recommend checking out if you haven't already shipping to the UK can be a little pricey and a little difficult so watch some of my other videos my other haul videos if you want to know more about that but these are three of my favorites from what I picked up from Polish Pickup and they were obviously my favourites for the year. Possibly my favourite polish of 2018 was Battle of Hogwarts from Night Owl Lacquer. And again, you can kind of sense a theme here. It's another kind of olivey dark green colour. Um, and it's got this beautiful um, duochrome to it. And look at that flash. And there's also multi-chrome flakies in here. It just looks so stunning. And that's like so easy to say. All of these are stunning, but this is, I think I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is my favourite. When I started to think about my favourites of the year, this was the first one that came to my mind, which is showing something for you. Um, so if you can ever get this, I hope you can. But like I say, it's a bit of a hard one because it was such a limited edition. Battle of Hogwarts by Night Owl Lacquer. The other one was called Cosmic Confection. This is from Fair Maiden. And this is just a beautiful teal with so much holographic in there and then a slight subtle shimmer to it. It kind of goes a little bit of like a purpley colour in amongst the teal and it just looks delicious on your nails. It's super good coverage um, and just, again, just a stunning polish. And I think that this month was the, this is for February. And I think that this was like the most popular one of the month or one of the most. I felt like everybody that I saw hauling from this month was showing this one. So that was Cosmic Confection by Fair Maiden Polish. And another one that came out that same month in February was Queen Bee's Wispies by Dollish Polish. Forgive it, it's now having a bit of a little ugly bottle syndrome going on. But it's just this beautiful peachy um, corally colour and then there's a ton of opalescent flakies in here and it just looks like a crushed hard sweet on your nails so you have that beautiful pink coral base and then you have the speckles of the um, opalescent which just make it look like crystallised kind of sugar and I just thought it really matched well with what it was going to look like and I haven't seen anything exactly like this with the pink with the um, opalescent in so overall again very beautiful stunning just really sorry it was limited edition so that was queen bees Wizbees by uh, dollish polish it wouldn't be any type of favorites videos without um some nine zeros and i did pick two the first one is dragon fruit freeze and this came out in the um smoothie bar light collection in the summer where last year in 2017 two years ago they did a smoothie bar collection this was like an add-on and i love white base curlies and i love white and black together so this was just like a perfect polish for me so it's a white base curly with black shattered glittered in here and i just think it looks amazing i love to say white base curlies black and white all the things that i kind of love together in a bottle and it's something so simple it's not got loads of components to it just the crelly and the glitter but i think it looks amazing the so dragon fruit freeze by nine zero and coming out towards the end of the year we have be positive now this came out in the halloween slash um autumn collection and it's meant to look like blood on your nails and i just think that this is one of the most unique polishes throughout the year i've not seen anything else that's rem remotely similar to this so it's a red jelly base with red glitter and black shredded glitter and it just looks like congealed blood it's kind of gross in a way when you think about it like that but at the same time so beautiful and so unique and i just I fell in completely in love with this and the more i think about it the more i think how like I say, crazy different it is compared to everything else that we were teased with this year. Um, so definitely a favourite for that reason. So that's Be Positive by 9-0. A new brand to me for last year was Lynn B Designs and this is from their Fantastic Beast collection. This is called Okami and my goodness the shift in this just blew me away. So it's a purple base with a tealy green um, shift to it. The shift is so strong both in the bottle and on the nail. Normally when you get a polish that is like this you find that the um, shimmer is there but you, it's normally a thinner polish because the shimmer is so strong so it takes you a little bit longer to build up but this was super opaque the shimmer was super apparent um and for like my one of my first dabblings with lean lin b designs i just thought it was absolutely beautiful and amazing um so super impressed with that and i've been impressed with everything else i've tried from the brand so that one was okami by lin b designs all these indies are going to be linked down below for you. And the last favourite for this year before we talk about the year as a whole is going to be Right in the Muggles See Us by Stella Chroma. And Stella Chroma is a brand that I'd always had my eye on but I bought a lot of, well not a lot, probably about 10, 10 polishes from them this year. And this is just a beautiful light blue base with a ton of, they're almost I would say like 
a dove grey, kind of like shredded flaky in here. They're not perfectly round, they're not super large, they're not jaggedy like the ones that I showed you in 9-0. And then there is also a very subtle flash to it. It's just like the perfect, like, almost like an, like an egg kind of colour where it's the crilly and then the base. It's just so subtle and beautiful and dainty and I was just really impressed with this. And again, sometimes with the first polish that you try from a brand, it always sticks in your head. Um, like same with the Linby Designs one and with like say with this one I got just a great first impression from them and that obviously then sets you up and wants to make you buy more going forward so that's Won't the Muggle See Us by Stella Chroma so that was a little recap of what kind of polishes I was feeling what I was into this year but for the, for the world for the nail polish world as a whole there were definitely some trends this year thermals and magnetic polishes were definitely in anything that was kind of like a special effect kind of polish I felt was very very on trend this year I saw the most with that kind of effect or it would be where it was like a hollow or a shimmer shimmer and they added then the next complexity layer by making it a thermal or making it a magnetic polish unfortunately those type of polishes really aren't for me I'm not a huge fan of those but it seems that the rest of the world was very much into those we saw a bit of a dip in the amount of hollow that was out this year. I felt the hollow took a back seat. I felt that 2017 was very much the year of the hollow. And then 2018 was very much the year, like I say, those transformative polishes. That was definitely a trend. I tried out a lot more polishes this year from new brands. It was just kind of like a bit of a subtle idea that I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting into a rut of just buying from the same brands that I'm reliable on. I'm taking more risks and um, trying some new brands that may be slightly smaller and, and supporting lots of brands from all over the world and I definitely feel like I did that this year not even consciously all the time but when I was going through some of my polishes and I'm in the middle of a big D stash I was finding all these brands that were new to me from 2018 and that's really what I want to continue going forward finding brands that are good regardless of size or expansion or where they are in the world and kind of promoting them and talking about brands um, because I love the polishes rather than because they've got like a big fan base behind them. The indie market is just growing and growing and growing and I think it's a lot harder for new brands to make their way in these days. We had quite a lot of closures again last year with new ones coming, old ones tend to go and as always it seems that the UK market, when it like, say like two indies close in the UK, that's like a big chunk of the market gone because we're not as saturated as what they are in like the US and Australia and places like that. So I, we had lost a few brands in the UK wise this year and as well as the rest of the world I guess that as companies grow people need to make a decision on whether they're going to commit themselves fully to it or whether they can't cope doing their normal day jobs and indie brands but I've tried a lot of indie brands this year I've tried a lot of indie like nail care this year as well which has been very exciting thank you so much for being with me for 2018 let me know what some of your favorite polishes were down below were you digging polish pickup were you digging the thermals and the magnetics what were you feeling let me know down below um, I have pre-filmed and pre-filming a lot of videos for you guys so hopefully there'll be lots of content up for you because I may be a little absent in January as some of you know um, so give me a thumbs up subscribe and I will see you soon with some new videos bye